Now there is a bit of a widespread panic within the React ecosystem that you cannot use use effect to load some data when your component gets mounted. However, that's not entirely true because you definitely can. But in this lesson, we will look at why that is potentially a bad idea and how you can solve this and many other issues by using a library called SWR. So let's go. Now we start off with an empty React application and we bring in the use effect and the use state hooks from React and then just the type for the user that will be loaded with an API call. The user consists of two simple properties, an avatar and an alias. For the avatar, we have a simple component that displays the avatar value within an image tag. And the alias component is even simpler. It displays the alias with a simple H1 heading. With these simple steps out of the way, let's look at our home component. With the use state hook, we create the state for the user, which we initialize to null as the user is not yet loaded. We will load this user when the component gets mounted with the use effect hook. This is the standard usage of use effect. If we provide an empty array, which means that this function will only run once when the component gets mounted. And within this callback, we make a very simple fetch request and set the user data. And that's the entire logic of our application. So let's look at the rendering of our component. Once the user data is loaded, we will render the avatar and the alias with the properties from the user object. And if we jump to the UI, you can see that the user is loaded and its avatar and alias are rendered to the screen. And we can verify that the user is indeed loaded with an API request by looking at the network tab within Chrome Debug Tools. But you will notice something strange over here. That is, there are actually two requests to the user API endpoint. If you click on the second API request, you can see that it is still returning the same data. So why are there two API requests? Now, the reason why this happens is because use effect is called twice in React 18 and beyond strict mode. And I have a lesson dedicated to that that I will leave in the video description. But essentially, it boils down to the fact that we need to clear whatever we set up within use effect. Now, there are various ways to solve this. For example, we can use an abort controller to abort the first fetch request. But let's not do that and instead use this library called SWR that solves this issue for us and also simplifies our code. Now, SWR comes as a single package and it supports TypeScript out of the box. So all that we need to do is run npm i SWR. With this installation complete, we import the use SWR hook, which is the default export from the SWR module. You provide your own fetching mechanism to this hook. And for our particular use case, we'll create a simple fetcher that makes a fetch request to the provided URL and parses that response as JSON. With SWR, we don't need to create our own state variable and neither do we need to do anything special when the component gets mounted. All of this is abstracted away from us by the use SWR hook. This hook takes a generic argument, same as use state, which we set up to be user, takes an API endpoint, which will then get passed to a utility fetcher function. Now, while this fetch request hasn't been made or completed, the data object that is returned will actually be undefined. And once it is present, it will be this generic argument, which is of type user. And we store this data object into the user variable. So now if you jump to the UI, you can see that it still functions exactly as before. However, this time only a single fetch request is made to load that data. Now, of course, this is not the only advantage of using SWR. So let's look at another example where we demonstrate its automatic deduping and sharing of information between different components for the same API endpoint. We jump back to our code base. Let's get rid of this commented out code. Now for this alias component, we will get rid of the alias property that is passed in. And instead, we will use the use SWR hook to make another request to the same slash API slash user endpoint. While the user is not loaded, we will return null and then use the user.alias property. And of course, we will no longer be passing this property down from the home component. Now, the thing to think about over here is that we are potentially making the request twice to the same endpoint. But if we jump to the UI and do a hard reload, you can see that only one API request is made. Now, because the API requests are to the same endpoint, SWR has automatically deduped that for us and made a single fetch call. One more thing that I want to mention is that the use SWR hook also returns properties is validating, which is set to true while the data is being loaded and error, which is the error returned by the fetcher function if it fails. I'll wrap things up there. Here's that lesson that I promised, which looks at why use effect is called twice. Thank you for joining me. Leave a comment if there is something more that you want to learn about SWR. Smash that like and subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you in the next one.